Oh, thank you for your donation. Excuse me for my beauty now, for I shall give you some ancient Native American wisdom here. These are ancient sayings from the heartbeat of Mother Earth. It must be striking for you to be on the set of Reservation Dogs in Kansas, and you look around, and there's so many Canadians. Yeah, so we're actually we're actually in Oklahoma, um, but uh, Oklahoma, yes. But still, it's as bizarre as if, if we were in Kansas to be uh, to, to to be far from far from home, and yet seeing the, so much of a, a, a part of the 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 community of actors that I grew up with, um, yes. and and specifically the indigenous community um, of TV film actors. But that's that's also indicative of just how what a close knit community we are of, of artists and. Yes. Um, and it, it just makes it feel like family. Things been real messed up around here. I think it's all my fault. So I want to get this straight. You got a white wizard curse, and now you need to break the curse. You know, it's, it's also uh, such a good story in that it's so lifelike and natural and humane and, and mm. real. How do you explain that? I think the the intention behind the show is realness, authenticity, you know, truth. So when that's the 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 main purpose and, and commitment to storytelling, that's how you accomplish it. And I think what happens sometimes in in the industry is you might hear that that doesn't sell or yeah, maybe we could just shape it a little bit or, or you know, uh, um, uh, color things a little bit in, in a different way. But that mm -hmm. is such a credit to the writer's room, to the directors and to showrunner Sterling Harjo, who, who like, that's a non-negotiable. We're showing, we're showing the, real, the, the real world here and their real world. Um, and that, um, that's, that's the only way you get that on the screen. I love that. Are you girls running away? Yeah. Damn, I'm so jealous. I don't even know what I'm doing. They don't even teach you anything. Now, here you are. You're appearing for the first time in, in the second season. Yeah. Why has she only just come home now for Mabel's funeral? Um, well, I, I think there's, there was nothing really in between from Cookie's death, her best friend, the mother of Laura, um, until Mabel's death, so Mabel being the grandmother and, and someone who was like a mother to her, there was no real major event that she that felt like family, uh, you know, that, that she has to be there. Um, and uh, that has allowed her to remain detached, cut off, and be able to not deal with the grief that is kind of in its a stunted place of um, of processing um, because she left so abruptly after Cookie's death. Um, I'm sure if there was another something else, you know, with that group of friends, if something would have happened between that time period, she would have come back. You think you're the only kid on the res growing up without a dad? You believe that, bro? All kinds of shit's been going down. Tini is one of a kind. She's so uh, full of joy. This is another reason why I was surprised that, that she didn't come home more. She's so full of love and energy. And I wonder um, if for you, she was complete on the stage or what you felt would bring her to 100% for you. I sometimes feel like I'm, I'm gifted certain roles. You know, I, I know that she was uh, made for me. I know that um, that Sterling had, had had written her and imagined her, and, and this is Debbie's episode. Uh, Debbie Jacobs, another Canadian, uh, <laughs> one of ours, um, but uh, yeah, she wrote the episode as well. But I know that they they made it with me in mind. So even though she's not me, um, there was so it's there's something very special when uh, a role was written for 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 you from people who know you. And so I felt that embodying Teeny was very easy for me. Um, and the acting part came with figuring out how to find out, you know, we were talking about 
um, uh, authentic representation and, and, and how it becomes so real. But even in the realness of those people and the, in that world, people are still wearing masks. And Teeny does have that, um, that good face that she puts on. And that was what I wanted to carve out. So even though personality-wise, energy-wise, she might be similar to me, the thing that I, I, I needed to, to really um, show for her was that she can't hide any longer. And that's why the humor and the life and the joy is so essential because we think like, oh, here's the party girl, you know, and then, and then the, the shell starts to, starts to break down. Are you guys snagging yet? I'm 15. What about you? No boyfriend? No. Girlfriend? Can't be tamed. Speaking yeah. of partying, the girls go for a, uh, <laughs> a weekend. And I got to tell you, it reminds us all that life is to be lived again. Yes. I found it to be a really great, rem like almost teary reminder. Yeah. Yeah. It was, you know, I, I always... I always love to remember that there's two things, two realities that are being lived. One is the, you know, what happens for us in the moment when we're, when we're doing the scene, when we're in play, when we're in that, um, like losing ourselves and really giving over to what that experience is. And then the other reality is those who are watching it. And I feel like in this scenario, it was so perfectly met making that that episode was so liberating like it gave the same thing you're saying what it felt for you and how good it made you feel in that <laughs> reminder so it was just like liberation on every on, on on every account and then watching it i'm i'm hearing the response from the audience is is incredible and it just affirms that um that it we 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 captured that but even me watching it <laughs> having you know we shot it months ago um, I'm feeling it all over again. And that's when you know that, you know, there's just that something resonates there. There's, the, you know, that it was successful what, what you did, because sometimes you can have a really great time doing something and it doesn't translate to the screen and, and people don't get it when they're watching it. Um, so, so that's, yeah, it's, it's, it's a, it's a nice, um, it, and it hasn't stopped the, the, the love. I mean, cause it, you know, it's, it's on streaming. So people are just seeing whatever they can, but it's um it's been so beautiful to see how people are are either seeing themselves, remembering something about themselves, um, and just and <laughs> celebrating part parts of their lives. They did something they ain't proud of. Tell them the effects of it will linger on in their hearts until they deal with the guilt inside. Oh, ho, oh, ho! Oh. Watch two dogs get stuck together. For if you do, you shall get pink eye. Deposit more money now for Mark Wisdom. <laughs>